Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Oh, and today we'll be reviewing Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Ejector, the Decepticon Toaster. He doesn't roll or anything, he's just a toaster transformer, so he transforms into a toaster into a robot, which is kind of cool. Any comparisons in toaster mode, we're just going to get down to transforming it. Flip these legs out. Sometimes these ball joints like to pop out the arms, so it's just going to be easy just to disassemble them. One arm, ball joint, there's another, flop it to the back, out his legs, and I just popped it out of the ball joint. One leg all done, second verse, just like the first. And here we almost got Ejector transformed, so we're going to transform his arms. Sorry that it's really loose on my copy, but the arms don't like to stay plugged in when you're transforming this thing. And there's his other arm, so he's got... Four arms, why not? There's half of them transformed. Now he's half transformed. Now we do the other arm and reattach it. And here we got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Ejector, and he was that toaster that came to life in Sam Witwicky's house. When Dog Teddy ran to this guy, he'd be like, Don't hurt me! Hurt Phoenix! She deserves it! But look at how creepy looking this guy is. He give my dog Teddy some nightmares, I'll tell you that. And he looks pretty cool. For a 2017 for a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen toy, he is pretty cool. And I love this toy so much. He is one of my personal favorites this year. Oh, come on. Then we're going to get him stand in and get down to some other comparisons. So we're going to push you back. Here we got Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Ejector. Next to Revenge of the Fallen, Soundwave. Dare I say why not? They look good together. Of course, what comparison would be complete without a Megatron? So here we got Ejector, Soundwave, and Megatron based on the Revenge of the Fallen to the first Transformers movie from 2006. So yeah, they look good together. If I do say so myself, is a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Ejector worth adding to your Transformers Michael Bay collection? Yes, he is so creepy looking, he is fun to mess around with, and I love having this guy in my collection, and I would highly recommend him. But definitely try to get a more tighter copy, because 
this one is way too loose for my opinion. But not a bad looking figure. You know, and I scored him for about $3 at the Monroeville Exchange. And he is worth that kind of money. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.